Hey friends, it's Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company. Welcome back to the vlog. I got the van with me today because we are about to enter the Salvation Army uh, donation thrift store here, out doing some shopping around Erie this lovely evening. I feel Chick-fil-A in my future, but I feel junk in my direct future here because what's a little Christmas shopping and decorating without getting out to the thrift store? What a great way to spend a Saturday evening. I love coming to the thrift stores and I haven't been in this one for a while. Hey, look at the price here on this Christmas tree. If you know somebody who needs one, just send them to the thrift store. They can find one, I'm telling you, for such good prices. So it's, this is what I'm seeing right now. I never know when I come into a store what the prices are gonna be like. Sometimes you hit on some great, great pricing and sometimes you're like, I am not paying that for that. Like these were $4.99 a piece. That piece that you just saw was what, $75? No to that. This, These were definitely possibilities. This guy here looked pretty comfy in that chair. When I see little pieces like this, I mean, $12.99, that's a great price. It's wood. Um, a lot of times I'll put it in some funky fun color and even though it's an older style, it just sells really quickly. Sewing machine, I'm not about buying desks that have the sewing machine in them. I would rather just take it out and paint the desk themselves. $80 for this set. I've painted sets like that before. No way. I did love this vanity mirror and I almost took it home. Love, love, love. That was $20. Would you have taken it home if you were me? If you need patio furniture, look at this, right? And they, yes, they have everything and the kitchen sink here today. Um, patio furniture I found there tonight for really, really cheap. Like when you buy it out of season, this piece I loved. But at $45, I was like, nope, 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 nope. The tag was missing off of this, so I'm assuming somebody already bought that one. This right here, I love this. What, I mean, I looked at this art and I'm like, what is it? $9.99, somebody flipped a piece of furniture and painted, right? Love it. And totally did a masterpiece on the top. What do you think of that piece? This stool here was really cute in front of me. I think it ended up being somewhere around $12.99. This um, dresser was a little too pricey, but yeah, I would have, for something like that, put a stencil in the top, painted a cool color, you know, if you just need one. So just kind of making our way around here. I wasn't too thrilled with the prices tonight. Like this table, $29.99, nope, way too much. What kind of prices do you guys see in your area? I love those chairs. There was three there, $9.99 a piece. They had kind of like a leather top and that, those studded edges. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. So now I'm making my way around the shelving units here, kind of like with the little decor. I actually met a lovely couple who are also resellers here tonight. You'll see that in just a second. I love this. Is this milk glass or is this like a milk glass replica? I couldn't tell. Anybody out there know that for sure? I just thought it was beautiful. And yes, I agree. Christmas calories definitely don't count. <laughs> Lots of good stuff here tonight. Lots of people out and around. Love this piece. Reminded me of a lantern. It just needs painted, right? This tray down here, it reminds me of our house. I kid you not, that Tudor style. So I'm going for this big glass plate on the bottom here in just a second, and I struck up a conversation and made friends with some other people. What's that? Resell? Yeah, absolutely. I flip and paint. How about yourself, what do you do? Turns out they have a store on Etsy and they come out and they look for pieces, right? It was fun to find another couple who enjoys doing that together. Do you, you know, for somebody out there who's watching right now, do you and your partner in crime go out and love to junk together? I think it's fun when as a couple you do it, right? And you both enjoy it. I thought that was a really interesting set of tins there and the way they had them designed. Super cute cups. Who wouldn't love to drink tea out of cute cups like that? These little pieces like this are perfect when you want to give some pops of color to your space and put them on your shelving. This canister set, super cute. I love the classic white and blue. I actually saw a lot of cookie jars here tonight. This one was $3.99, super cute for the cat lover, right? The top of the goldfish fin was broken. Dab a little bit of paint on that. Good, good to go, right? I didn't realize I have my finger over the camera here, so bear with me until I take it off. 
But yeah, lots of cute little uh, vases and stuff that you can decorate with for the holidays. I really like this piece. The colors really drew me in. I never ever saw an Avon dish that looked like that before. And this reminded me of a head of what? Lettuce or cabbage? What is that? <laughs> this, uh, snow, this Santa Claus rather cookie jar I thought was super cute. People probably bypassed it because it had 1999 written on that star. But once again, grab your Junk Monkey Chalky style paint, stick to pretty much anything under the sun, dab a little Be My Honey on that little star, and nobody would ever know. Okay, this made me think of Friends. You know that episode where Monica, is it Monica? I think it was her, that she made the, <laughs> she made the, the truffle, but she put meat into it. <laughs> uh, it made me laugh. I didn't take that home tonight, but do you guys still make truffle? Is it called trifle or truffle? Truffle. No, maybe it's trifle. What is it? This Santa was really cute as well. Lots of little decor pieces, perfect to pop around. This piece was actually a Bath and Body Works piece for $1.99. I like this really like crackly, old, distressed Santa as well, but he was really nice. This right here, yeah, Matt loves deviled eggs and I almost took this home because it's a ladybug holder for you to put your eggs into. Who else loves those? Matt wants them made like every holiday season, I swear. This was a cute Victorian Santa. This vase just screams like winter wonderland, doesn't it? With that pearl effect. Perfect for winter decorating. Looked at the lamps. This one over here, you see with the black base, it actually looked new, but Matt was like, look up inside though, it's broken up there. So nope, nope, nope. And then I saw that one and I'm like, this is a cool funky lamp. Look at this. I would totally dry brush it with vintage white paint and you know, jazz it up a little bit. Checked out the artwork. I love that picture of the girl right there. I thought that was really neat. And it actually was made of fabric. I'm trying to collect more uh, awesome pieces for my walls around my new old home. And then I spotted across the way this section. I was drawn to those two uh, pictures over there. In the end, when I got there, I saw this frame, which I thought was pretty cool. So of course, Matt was like, yeah, that's a nice frame too. So then I enlisted his help to grab it off the top shelf. So there he is right there. So now you know, at least we took that, pi that piece home for sure. Tomorrow I'll show you my complete haul. So walked along, lots of really cool pieces. Those were the, the pictures I was initially looking at, but when I, when I saw them up close, I'm like, nah, I'm gonna pass on those. And then I found this piece over here. What is this? Did I take it home? Watch tomorrow and find out. Guys, we are now out of the Salvation Army. We pulled across the way just a little bit. Stopped at one of my favorite places here to eat, Chick-fil-A. I'm going to go in and have myself a lovely salad inside right now to celebrate all the good finds that I found today. The nice thing is um, that I told you earlier before I went into the Salvation Army that we were around at some of the other stores as well. And I like to combine a little bit, of the, little bit of the new, a little bit of the old. I got some great pieces inside the Salvation Army to decorate with. Some of the pieces I'll have to paint. Some of the pieces I'll just have to, you know, clean up, sanitize and decorate from there. So stay tuned on the vlog. You'll see it all go down. And tomorrow on the vlog, I'll show you my haul because I got a load of stuff back here in the dark of the van. So we're gonna head inside. Hope you guys have a great evening and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Did you enjoy today's Junkin' Travels?